morning, everybody. How are you? I've had a couple day hiatus from doing Facebook Lives. I was on Girls Weekend. It was awesome. Actually, my daughter, let me get my camera here. I'm a little, kind of in a dark hair. My daughter took me on Girls Trip for um, Mother's Day, and it was so much fun. I had a blast. I'd have more fun if I could get my light to work. Huh. See how this was. I should check my lighting ahead of time. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we went to um, Laguna Beach. Yay. And I think I Facebook Live from Laguna Beach because I love Laguna Beach. And the second a couple days we stayed at Disneyland. And every time I go to Disneyland, whether it's Disneyland or Disney World, I always end up learning something from them. And I actually had four takeaways this time. The very first one is, and this is for people when you're starting your own business and you're trying to start out, Disneyland all started with a mouse. That's it. He drew a mouse. Now, I think the first one was Latter Lattermore the mouse, and he lost that over on Walt Disney, lost that, so he developed Mickey Mouse. And he had um, did Mickey Mouse for the rest of the thing, and I'm still trying to get my lighting here to work. So he um, still did uh, Mickey Mouse. So it started with a, a mouse. And now look at it. He has, I mean, they have movies. They have theme parks. I mean, they are a huge corporation. But they started small. And everybody starts their business. And they think, well, I'm not a very big business. I'm never going to grow. Nobody's going to find me. Or they look at, you know, people like Ollie Brown and Marie Forleo or um, Oprah and say, well, look at how big they are. They all started small. Oprah started as a reporter. Ali Brown started as a copywriter. Marie Forleo started as an um, exercise leader. You, you have to start. You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't start. So just take the first step and then worry about the rest of it later. Just, just get going. I mean, just like, don't worry about your, your Facebook Live being perfect. Keep doing what I do and just keep moving it around until you find the lighting. Just start. Just get your idea and get it out there. If you're like me and you can, you can feel people's potential, you can, I can see your potential when you walk up to me. And I can help you ignite your possibilities and move forward. And we can reframe your past, you know, to get all that bad crap out of your head so you can move forward. So it just starts with the mouse, just start small. The second thing with it about Disney, and everybody knows this, is Disney is very customer centric. It's all about the customer experience. From the minute you pull up in their parking lot of their hotel, till you pull out of the gates to leave, it is about you. They honor you, their customer. And a perfect example on Friday was grad night. Who knew? The park is jammed, packed with high school graduates. And I mean, it's the most crowded I've ever seen it. And I was there for Rose Bowl weekend. Never go over the holidays. Never, never, never. I know Disney would hate me saying this. It is jam-packed. And Rose Bowl weekend, it is crazy town. Hi, Crystal. So about, I don't know, 8.30, we're like, we might as well leave. You can't get on a ride because the kids are jumping in the line. I mean, it was so crowded. All Disney at this point is trying to do, I think, is keep peace. So line jumping, craziness. You know, we never saw any bad behavior, just, you know, kids being kids. Hey, you know, 20 of my friends get in line with me. So we went back to the room, we stopped off, we had a couple drinks. It was great. So the next day we go, and one of the things we did was the, um, I think they call it high tea or afternoon tea with Disney, it's new. The three of us did that. So the manager came over as we're drinking our tea and eating our scones, and how's your trip? And we're like, ah, oh, it's awesome. You know, we were a little surprised by it being so crowded last night, and, but it worked out fine, no problem. She came back about five minutes later and hands us the golden ticket. They have a, a ticket that they can give you that can get you into any of the rides. It's a, it's a fast pass to get into any ride you chose. So of course we went to Guardians of the Galaxy because it was a new one. But it was all about our experience. We didn't complain, we, didn't, we weren't even ha unhappy. We're like, hey, we went, had a couple of drinks, went back to the room. But Disney sensed a moment when they could have a lifelong customer. And they sensed the moment that they figured, hey, we can give these three the, this pass. It just reframed their whole way of thinking about Friday. Because yeah, it was grab night, it was really crowded, but we forgot about it. 
because we, we have a fast pass. We're going to the Guardians of the Galaxy. And so now the Grad Night memory is kind of gone. It doesn't have the negative, what little negative we gave it, it's gone. Disney made it customer centric. So what are you doing for your customers to give them that little extra bit? You know, they always say you have to give your customers value. But it's, it's that value that pops that makes a difference. It's not that, hey, if you buy my, you know, my, my, my program, reframing your childhood stories to um, ignite your possibilities, you'll get a free PDF. That doesn't pop. The pop is, hey, how can I help you? Once you get this program, let me know how I can help you. Don't, let me not dictate to you, if you buy this program, I'm giving you this, this, and this. You tell me. And if I can accomplish it, I'll accomplish it. Let's make this a two-way conversation. And that's what Disney does. They made it a two-way conversation. She asked, you know, what's your attitude, how'd it work out, and, and made it pop. So when you're customer-centric, don't make it about, this is what I'm giving you, my customer. It's what do you want, what will make you happy? And that, that works. Um, the next thing they do is they stay in their lane. And I got that expression actually from Oprah. Oprah stays in her lane. She knows exactly what she does. Oprah is a great interviewer. She listens to people, hears it, and thinks, what does my customer want me to ask and ask that question? She is so tied to her audience that she knows what they want her to ask and she asks. So what does your audience want? What is in your lane? My lane is I see your potential. I see your potential. I can help you get to where you want to go. I can help you if you sit around thinking I would love to start a business in basket weaving. I can help you figure out why you're not there. I can help you figure out how to get to where you want to go because I can see what's stopping you. So that's my gift. So I stay in that lane. I don't bounce all over the place. I don't do soul's purpose this week and um, ignite your passion next week and business coaching the week after. I stay in my lane. Now, you could say, well, but Karen, you do some business coaching if you're igniting possibilities. Exactly, but that's my lane. I know exactly what I'm good at. I know exactly what my gift is and I stay in my lane. So whatever your gift is, whatever you're good at, whatever business you have, stay in that lane. Don't bounce all over because you won't be fulfilling your, your gift. And the final thing I learned is you can manifest anything you want, anytime, anywhere, if you know how. And I say this because while we were at Disneyland on Friday, again, getting back to grad night, it was packed. We got in line um, probably about 1.30, 2 o'clock to ride Splash Mountain because it was really hot. It was, you know, probably about 100. And the, you know, we could get a fast pass, but we wouldn't get on the ride till six and then it'd be too cold for us. So we decided we'll just stand in line. So we're standing in line, it's hot, and this guy comes up out of clear blue and says, is there three of you? And we're like, yeah. He goes, here's a fast pass. You gotta use it though in five minutes. I can't use it. And off he goes. It's like, wow, so we jumped ahead of the line. I don't know if you know what fast passes are, but it puts you to the head of the line, it was awesome. That night, when it's, like I said, crazy packed, the last ride we rode was Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain, probably the longest line I've ever seen at Thunder Mountain is 45 minutes, because it's a roller coaster. Two roller coasters, bang, 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 going really fast, a lot of long line. The line was over an hour. And we're like, well, you guys, it's waiting this line or waiting another. We might as well wait in line and then make our decisions while we're waiting in line. So we've been in line maybe for 10 minutes. And this girl comes up and she says, is there three of you? And we're like, yeah. Hey, here's some fast passes. Got to go now though, because it expires in like 20 minutes. Wow, okay, so we jumped to the head of the line, fast passes. We manifested that by having a great attitude, by being just so grateful. I mean, I was so grateful to be on Girls Weekend with my daughter. She flew my sister in, you know, to celebrate a late Mother's Day. I was so grateful for being in Disneyland, the weather. It was warm, but it didn't bother me. It was just, I was just filled with so much gratitude. And these people that give us these fast passes walked past a long line of people. It wasn't like we were the only people in line. They walked, the guy coming towards us probably walked past 50 people. The lady weaving through the line probably walked past 100 to hand it to us. It was amazing. 
So those are my four takeaways. Um, you gotta look at my notes. It all starts with the mouse. Everybody starts small. Steve Jobs did not become Apple right away. Start small, remember that. Be customer centric. Stop telling your customers, this is what you get. When you give me your $497, this is what you get. It's, you know what, when you give me your $497, this is the program you're gonna get. But is there something else that we can talk about that I can help you with? And maybe that'll be crazy, maybe down the road I'll say, well, this isn't working. But I think it, you have to listen to your customer. I think people are getting tired of being dictated to. I think people are like, you know what, I'm giving you a lot of money, how do I know there's value? And yes, I know I'll get my money back, but I'm not necessarily want my money because I think you can solve my problem. So how can I best help you solve your problem? Um, stay in your lane, know what you do, know what you do well, and stay there. Don't bounce around. You can't be all things to all people. It's just, it's impossible. Nobody can't. Oprah can't, Disney can't. They know who they are. Disney always remembers to start with the mouse. Oprah always remembers that she listens to her audience and thinks, what does my customer want to know? And finally, you can manifest anything you want at any time. As long as you, you're grateful, you give gratitude, you're happy, and you're just content. In, in fact, my next video, we're gonna talk about um, how to clear your energy, how to clear your chakras, so you can manifest better. Because if you're not manifesting what you want, it means that it's something that you're clogged somewhere. So I look forward to talking to you about that. Um, of course, I can't leave without pitching. You know, if you're interested in my program, I have a link below, and it's you know, it's five steps to reframe your childhood stories to ignite your possibilities. I also do some coaching, but if you get the five-step program, I can promise you. It'll be an open conversation between how else can I serve you over these weeks that you're doing a program. I look forward to talking to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.